Alleluia. Alleluia. What a God we serve. What a song we worship. What a future. Hallelujah. Yeah. Are you there? Yeah. Listen to me. I say, what a God we serve. I can hear you. Yeah. I say, what a God I serve. Yeah. If you don't want me to make it poorer, let me, I know the God I'm serving. Because I say you're quiet. I don't know maybe what a God I'm serving. What a son I have. What future. What a future. Hallelujah. I know you are lifted up. I know you are lifted up. I, I can say smile. There is no fear. I say you smile. Thank you, thank you. Uh, viewers, wherever you are, we know you are here and we are there. So, join us worship. This sound is not a barrier. This sound is not a barrier. What matter is the Spirit of God? Where you are worshipped does not matter. What, what matter is the Spirit of Father? The Spirit of Father. Hallelujah. So you have on your table, <coughs> move mountain. You have on your table. On my table here, it's here. I know it's on your table there. Hallelujah. Uh, yes. I, well, what a wonderful testimony. I was, uh, I was with you an hour for the past one hour. Listen to the testimony. I've been, I've been being carried away. If not God that instructed me to come out, I will be inside watching the testimony. But I was just being carried away by the testimony and uh, the Lord said, come on, come on, it is time to come out. I said, ah, thank you, Father, thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Um, you are welcome. Let me welcome you to Nigeria. <laughs> you are, tell your neighbor you are welcome to Nigeria. Yes, uh, let me just tell you a few about the nation Nigeria. Let's use my three minutes to tell you about this country. Um, well, I will not stand here to begin to proud about this no nation. And every one of us know that it's a, a, a giant nation in Africa. Africa as a, na as a continent, Nigeria is giant. But we, we have yet to prove this and uh, well i know the lord will give them the grace to prove them to prove it it's not just enough to say you are a giant nation but there must be evident and proof that you are giant so we are praying one day we prove this to the other african nation that yes we are giant it's not by size it's not by population one is giant you are giant by by capacity of So that is it. We pray every day that uh, one day I want to live to see the evidence of giant. I'm, I'm not yet, yet to see, but by population and by size, I think. Uh, yes, a giant nation. Uh, yes. Th this nation has been under repair. The name of the nation, Nigeria, is under repair because of what quote I quote Boko Haram has done 
to the name Nigeria. We are all busy repairing the nation image. Are you with me? We are all busy repairing the 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 the, the the, the name of the nation Nigeria outside this place. Because out there, outside Nigeria, what you hear about this nation, everywhere, click, 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 nothing like that. And I pray the spirit of repairing should be in every Nigeria. When you wake up, think of what can I do for the image that has been soiled outside this nation? Every Nigeria, that should be the thought. Every Nigeria. That is our major challenges. What Boko Haram has done to a part of the continent, a part of Nigeria, northern part. Killing, stealing, and all of that that has happened in, in the past two to three years. Every Nigeria good citizen is always taking up, what can I do? What will I do to contribute to the image, good image of this nation outside this country? To let the world know that, look, it's a wonderful nation. So, that's it. Nigeria is a commercial suburb in Africa, commercial city, commercial country. There is nowhere in Africa where you think of buying and selling, you must come to Nigeria. You must come to Nigeria for one thing and the other because of the nature. The, I mean, it's a commercial center. So if anything happened to any Africa, we should expect in that people coming all over the world for one reason and the other because of the size and commercial center the law has given, I mean, endowed the nation. So I think, right. So I th this is just the, the position of the nation is a commercial center of Africa, not that about us. People must come all over for one thing and the others. If anyone comes and is affected somewhere for a meeting, that does not mean Nigeria is not safe. It's not enough to say the nation is not safe. And it's not enough to say the nation is, is affected part of the continent. It's not enough. It's not enough. All we need to do is to educate the citizen concerning the disease, so-called disease, to educate them. Edu very important, very paramount. Our own assignment is to educate this disease, which we are doing here, not to do, begin to say more or claim or whatever because of the image of this nation as we bastardized in the past. So, and I pray every Nigeria will have this grace. Grace of rebuilding the good name you have. Not to damage more. Let us educate ourselves. The presence of a disease that may happen, that happen in our neighboring country. Educate your citizen. What it is in case which they have experienced, one man came from one country, 
with that disease and he died in nation Nigeria yes it's enough let us educate our people beyond that and a, a claim that will be, be beyond that education is a sin against the nation and it will affect the nation Nigeria education should be our tools and so-called demand that came from other country the situation has been curbed it's under control simple as ABC let us everyone whatever the Lord put in your heart go to the embassy of each country that has been affected and support them spiritually financially and pray as well support them and let us come together and fight the, the disease and support if not they must come they travel all over the world and your country too is in the same country there's nowhere nigeria is not in in the whole world talk less of africa there's nowhere in nigeria, nigeria is not living it's only when you go to heaven presently i don't know whether anyone has been to heaven if you have been to heaven you can tell her what is in heaven who is there there's nowhere nigeria is not and nigeria that are there must travel back home they must come home so what i so let let us come together and support financially spiritually prayer Please, and let us don't just sit somewhere and choose the side of chastisement, isolation. No, 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 that will not help. Thank you very much. Because the side of a is more deadly than disease himself if i'm talking to you when you choose the side of mm, chastisement as a literal it's more deadly than disease himself if you are not sick and you are isolated you are about to die so please whatever we can do to support and help since it's not possible for anyone with that disease to travel to anywhere it's not possible if you have that disease you can't leave your country it is top people over there people that are of that top can travel to ecowa travel to this this they are the ones that have money to travel all over common people cannot travel with such a disease it's not possible because every symptom show will show that you are not okay there's no way you could beat your brother to another brother so they are there in the camp in each country please help them thank you yes last sunday i was here telling you people that yes our part is to help we know it's not possible for anyone common man with that kind of disease and cross a border because the symptom is obvious it's obvious symptom to cross the border is not possible even on your way you finally die. that is why the man died on the way they are there but it's not possible no matter how treat the treatment you have so they are in the camp in each country they belong they are in, in the camp so what we need to do is to go to the embassy of each country contribute financially spiritually whatever you god has put in your heart contribute it and any time you pray remember those country in prayer do so because you are a christian and a believer what you make happen to other god make happen to you tell your neighbor 
what you make happen to others, God make happen to you. If you make joy happen to others, joy come to you. I want to see your hand up. You are ready to do, go to the embassy of each country affected and supporting whatever God has put in your heart. Let us see your hand. I want you to make this viewers at home. Viewers at home, all over the world. We have the viewers all over the world. Millions. This is channel that must watch. Right now, as I'm talking, go on your YouTube or, or, or channel or on, on your internet. You see, humanitarian is the most watched channel now. Now, so viewers that are watching that are under the influence of this telecast, I want to see your hand. I want to pray with you. Whatever all good thing the Lord has put in your heart, and you are ready to go to the embassy of each country, affected country. You want to support them financially, supporting them, whatever the law has given to you, you want to give it to the embassy, give text to the, 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 the country concerned. Let us see your hand. God bless you. Tell your neighbor what you make happen to others. God make happen to you. If you isolate others, you will be isolated. If you chastisement order, you will be chastisement. That is the weapon that can secure you. Nothing can secure you. Be your brother keeper. That the weapon to secure you and to protect you is this. Go to the embassy. It's not possible. They can, anybody with that symptom cannot leave the country, unless it's very, very at the high level. That is why you hear the story that uh, you came to the meeting, ECOWAS meeting. You know, people go to ECOWAS meeting. It's not people. It's not you that. Uh, they are ECOWAS people. So people are in the camp there. So go to the embassy and do the right thing. And I'm not going to stand here and begin to tell you the nation affected. When you live here, go and ask your neighbor. Go to the YouTube or internet or ask your neighbor. My mom, I don't know the nation you. So thank you for doing that. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Education to educate citizens is very, very paramount. Tell them about impending situation. The situation that are the, in the neighboring country. In the same way, other nations too, they educate their people about the Boko Haram when they are coming to Nigeria. So they are for you to educate them. Our situation is Boko Haram. When you go to those countries, you will not hear Boko Haram. They have their own situation. That is their own situation. We should support and see what we can do. Don't bring strange situation to another country. It's strange and let us fight it and help. You can't choose two sides, side of support and side of hatred. Is it that you choose support or choose other side? We should decide of, let us come together financially, support whatever you have, take it to the embassy, pray prayer. They are not coming to your country and they cannot come to your country because it is a deadly disease. They are in the camp in their country. They cannot come. It's not possible. If that is the fear, there is not. Be free. No, nothing like that. Your customers, they are in the border there.
even the nation that have border with many of these affected nations that have border with them this, this, when you go to those nations they live freely they're happy there's nothing like that in that with, they didn't never have border with any of this nation we don't have any border with why so fear everywhere and this has affected the name of Nigeria outside the country people traveling all, all, all over the country if you see the confession there's a gentleman that just came to me he's in Nigeria he traveled to uh, Europe he was crying yesterday that man of God if you see what happened to me I was I was screaming embracing I said to stay one side I said what happened is it because of Boko Haram I'm not Boko Haram they said no because of this strange disease ah they were all sort of medical tests this that 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 to the extent that they were demanding for his urine he also forced himself to urinate It's, it's, it's a well no man, it's, 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 it's in the church there. He has to urinate him. He's in Nigeria. He said, man of God, please, this nation need prayer. This is not our issue. If somebody come, came from other country that is affected and enter Nigeria and die with that sickness, does it mean it's a Nigeria issue? What we need to do is to educate our people. Tell them this is what is happening for prevention. When you are watching the international media, media it, it's CNN and other, when you see the name Nigeria among, what is all this nonsense? So please, I will not stand here and begin to tell you, I have started, because I know these people, it's not possible for them to leave their country because of the kind, the nature of their sickness, it's not possible. If anybody says they will cross the border, come to your nature, they will not come. Come to do what? These people are sick. 99% of these people are poor people, mainly because of poverty. Many of them contacted it through poverty and shame. There is nothing you cannot eat when you are poor. Ninety-nine percent of people that are affected through poverty and shame because they can eat anything. Anything that is free is their food. Think of anything that is free. Anything that is cheap is their food. Think of anything that is cheap. It's just one percent of rich or uh, notable people. Maybe they have their 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 family is among. They, they visited their family somewhere. That is the cause of poor rich people attack, affected with this. Yes, that is all. Do you find in those countries that are affected, they are state house government house how many of the official that that thing affected this is to tell you that it's not something that can just move in around it's as a hardship poverty and when you are poor anything free is your food anything cheap is your food anything available is food for you if i'm talking let us see your hand it's hardship Poverty is the cause of this.
So please, make it happen. Make it happen. Tell your neighbor, make it happen. Peace of order. Healing of order. Freedom of order. Food for order. Food for order. Comfort for order. Tell your neighbor, make it happen. That make you Christian. Say that make you a Christian. That make you a good citizen. Say food for order. Comfort for order. Peace for order. Peace for order. Freedom for order. That make you a Christian. Make it happen. Tell your neighbor, make it happen. Make it happen. Make it happen. Thank you. So when we were talking last Sunday, we started it. I mean, you believe you receive. So we begin to receive a letter from country, from one country to another. And we start from our, our dear country, the Syria loan, and uh, 40,000 anointing water. And uh, we partner all over the world, and uh, the, the private jet that actually cargo the plane, the, the, the thing, which is $50,000, and also 50, another fifty thousand dollar making hundred thousand dollar with forty four thousand anointing water was cargo to the serial load. <laughs> but the beginning is not the end. The beginner is not the what? So when you begin something, don't make claim of it until you see the end. Because we want, we can't wait to hear freedom there. We, don't, we can't wait here. We can't wait to hear people are here, people are free, people, people give start give a testimony. That is what I'm waiting for to hear now. Yes, that is what I'm waiting for now. I can't wait. I can't sleep since since today, since today days. This thing was cargo to the city alone. I can't sleep. I could not sleep. This morning I find it difficult to sleep. Why? Because I, 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 what I can, I'm waiting for testimony. I want, I'm waiting for testimony. I'm here. I'm free. I'm delivered. This is what I'm waiting for. And if I wait till end of this week, I don't know. But it is, let me tell you, the anointing water you receive is not the same. I'm not what I say in there. <laughs> it's not the same anointing water I sent there. When when the when the news right from Colombia, when I was in Colombia, I started hear the news. Ah, I need to consult God. I need to ask God. This is what is happening. What, what next, God? And I will not tell you what God asked me to do again to, on that anointing water. That is secret between me and God. Uh, yes, it's, the, the anointing water you have is yours. But the one I sent to Syria alone is a different one. It's, 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 we call it Budosa. We call it bulldozer. Uh, we can't wait for for tractor. And uh, you, you, I mean, I mean, it. They say the thing key fast, and this one cure fast. <laughs> so I immediately send all oh, there. But it is not issue you can receive here, your country. It is not possible. Because it is not available. It is only available in those countries that are affected. That is the law there. It works with law. So that is why immediately we have to, it's not useful for anyone, but for the country affected. We have to carry the whole five 
4,000. And the Lord said, okay. That is why I was eager. I would not be able to wait. I could not wait for the nation, the country, to be alone for communicators. No, 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 no. Don't worry. I will charter the plane. Don't worry. I will pay for the flight. I will pay for the flight. Don't worry. Everything should be free. Hallelujah. Yes. I said to them, everything concerning that anointing water coming to your country should be free. If money is a shame, forget about the healing. If money is a shame, if you don't greet me, thank you, it will affect the anointing water. Greeting me, thank you, man of God. No, 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 it will affect the anointing water. When I was greeting, say, we thank you, I have the answer. Immediately here, we thank you, I have the answer. Because of that, for the past 30 days, since that anointing water was shipped there, I off the answer. I don't receive any call. I don't want to receive any call from Syria alone. Oh, what I want to hear, I'm here, I'm delivered. So that's it. And we are not just wake up and begin to send such a thing to the country. It, by, it, it was demanded for. The government demanded for it, and letter was sent to me. Official letter was sent to me from the president of Syria alone. And I honor it. That is believe, receive. I will not just wake up and begin to send it there. Because if you don't believe, you cannot receive. So we are expecting other country affected to, to ask for it. We send it. If they are not asked for it, well, we continue prayer. This Sunday is not a barrier. We pray. Well, that is all. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Can we, please, let's just hear one testimony before I move to the midst of people. qui sont sous cette épidémie, de pouvoir donner, quel que soit aux ambassades, de l'argent, quel que soit des dons, pour pouvoir aider justement ces pays qui sont sous l'épidémie, qui sont en train de se répandre dans certains pays africains. Il encourage chaque personne, dans quelques instants, dans l'écouter maintenant, les témoignages et rester connectés. If I may give you a summary of what happened, forgiveness is the mark, is the issue, is the way. Jesus is that symbol because he has said it. He said, "Forgive them on the cross." Them mean you are included. If I'm talking to you, if I'm talking to you, Jesus said on the cross. Forgive them because they don't know what 
Is that not what he said? But Jesus never said, forgive. He never said, forgive. He said, forgive them. So, I'm included, you are included. If I'm talking to anyone there. Take, take note again. On the cross, he said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. Them, underline, them, me, you are included, I am included. So that you have not committed any unpardonable sin. You have not committed what? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Me, you have not committed any unpardonable. Because you see them, me, you are included in that statement. I am included in that statement. And then what sin you might have committed? Whatever sin you might have committed there, you are included and I'm included. They say, Father, forgive. He never stopped there. Father, forgive. And he never said, Father, forgive him. He never said, Father, forgive her. He never said that. He said, Father, forgive them. If you look at the cause of your stagger, stagger, Stagnant. If you look at it, the stagnant. Why am I say stand without moving forward, backward, or what? What is happening to me? If I go up, I come down again. What is happening? Why this trouble all over me? What is happening? Why all this attack? What is happening? Walk. The walk forgiveness look at it when you look around there are some people you say never in your life you will not i will not greet and i will, it will not greet me i will have nothing to do with forever you have that have been i don't know Are you, are you with me? That's it. Look at it. This, look at, this, what do you think is, is making TV Joshua, what TV Joshua is today? I don't see my brother as enemy. No. Sin is my enemy. I don't see you and I can never sin. S I N is my enemy. And sin has no blood, has no flu. And you have blood, you have flu. I can never and ever count anything against you, but against sin. I love sinner, but I hate sin. Are you with me? I, TV Joshua, I love sinner, but I hate sin. Can I, let me give you a good example of what I'm talking about. So you can now prove whether I'm right or wrong. 
10 years ago or 15 years you, you know ask yourself what is your position to tb joshua and what what was your belief about tb joshua 15 years ago you are one of the people that was praying against me when you think back you may likely be one of the people that say over your dead body i will not enter this church but it's not your dead body that is here today <laughs> 15 years ago think about it you are once you, you likely once in a, a gathering where your ministers of god was leading you to pray and to ban tb joshua and rebook tb joshua you are fasting day and night against the man that now become your benefactor. <laughs> what what do you think made things happen like this because when you were cursing me i was here blessing you Those years, why you are rebooking me, banding me, cursing me, chastising me, say all sorts of things against me, I was somewhere praying for your peace and comfort. Because I know a day like this is coming. I knew then that time like this, I knew time like this were coming. And I was expecting time like this. Assume I join idea with you as you are rebooking me in 10 years ago and I was somewhere also rebooking you. Something will have happened. Because one of us has God. And one of us has said God then. Judgment. Who was having faith God? And who was having God on his side? Because the one that have God on his side will win. So today you are here. Someone whom you have said never in my life i will never enter his ministry worship but you are here worship with me could we say you are having genuine god then it was genuine god that was showing you that fake vision that is answer for you to answer question for you to answer listen 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 15 years ago, some of us were somewhere saying over my dead body, I will never enter this place. But today you are here. Could we say it was genuine God that was showing you that vision? And God is not a man that lies. It must be God's that line. Ten years ago, when some of us were somewhere else praying against the man you are sitting looking at, you are in his presence today. You are praying as if it's fake, it's fake, it's fake. You rebook and ban ten years ago. Could we say those years you are praying to genuine God or God of our Father?
That is the question for us to answer. Today we are here. It is easy for a member to repent, but difficult for pastor, head of a big ministry, to repent. Because if Pastor Tim Joshua have said 10 years ago that that man is bad, and all the congregation had, and today I stood to say, the man is good, you will likely abandon my church. I take it again. It's easy for you to repent, but difficult for the head of the ministry to say, I'm sorry. Because, listen, if I have said in the past 10 years that some places, this place is not good, it's bad, or whatever I have said, and you have heard me and recorded me, and it is in your memory, and today I stood and I'm standing to say that place I say is bad is good now you will likely abandon my ministry this is what many of us have maintained today the glory of our forefather not the glory of God because not to stop anyone not to continue the battle if I'm fighting you, and I'm fighting you, and I will continue to fight. If God says I should continue, if God says I should, if God is the one that instructs me to fight you, stand it, sir. If God says I should continue, I should fight you, I will continue to fight you to the end. But if that fight come from my, is fight of envy, fight of jealous, I will fight you for the meantime. There are some achievement you cannot fight any longer yes. I said there are some achievement you can no longer fight because you realize that when you are fighting that achievement you are fighting majority So the best thing is to remain silent and remain quiet. Underneath, at my private, I will say, God forgive me what I have said to T.B. Joshua, but no one will hear this from outside. But easy for you to turn, to turn around, to make a change, you can change. You can choose not to come to this church. You may choose tomorrow to go to another church without inform me, without even notice me, because you never noticed me before coming here. You can choose not to come here again. But where will I go if I say I will, I will leave the church? <laughs> No way. So that is it. So forgiveness. Shall we watch? Okay. Elle a maintenant regardé la vidéo de la prophétie de cette jeune femme concernant le pardon. A continuación, el video de la palabra profética que recibió esta mujer y hoy viene con su testimonio. Manténgase pendiente. How are you? Why can't you forgive this man? I'll forgive him. Tell me why you could not forgive him. 
because he went behind me and had um, got a girl pregnant, told the girl I couldn't get pregnant. Come, don't worry. The forgiveness cannot come without solution. Where there is forgiveness, there is reconciliation. Where there is forgiveness, there is healing. Where there is forgiveness, there is deliverance. You remember last week, there was a baby you carried in the dream? Yes. This baby is coming to reality. Amen. No, do you know the reason why I'm decided to take her around? When the vision was given, I said to her, I'm seeing you choose on the part of unforgiving. If you don't forgive this man, you cannot pregnant. You have been looking for the fruit of womb for many years. If you can forgive this man, you were pregnant. He said, Sir, the reason why it will be difficult for me to forgive this man, this man has gone with another man. And he said everywhere that I can never, I can never pregnant in life. Because they have married for many years. It's difficult for me to forgive. I say, put that one aside. Just forgive him. The pregnancy you have been looking for many years will come immediately. Look at the stomach. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, forgive them. Forgive them. I can't hear you. Forgive them. Say it includes, it includes you, you and I. Jesus said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. Forgive them, it included you and I. Me, you have not committed any war. Say the stomach. What she, she has been looking for for many years. He came here. And I said to her, why you refuse to forgive this man? He said, ah, I cannot forgive him, oh, because you have said it that I will never, I, I cannot pay, take him. That he now went to another woman, I said, forgive him. Prophecy is the answer. And I said to her, Forgiveness brings reconciliation. Forgiveness brings solution. And I deliver her. See her. Go and sit down. Let her sit down. Play it back again. Play it back. There is a answer question, lesson to learn. You have many things. You say over your dead body you will not forget. And you don't know that this is what is hidden your blessing. This is what is moving you. You say that certain you will not forgive. That is why you will not move forward. Play it back. Listen, watch. Be was at home. How are you? Why can't you forgive this man? I'll forgive him. Tell me why. You know the reason why I said, tell me why you could not forgive him in the past. Because he, 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 he was quiet. It took her one second, one and two minutes to answer me. Why can't you forgive this man? I know what he was thinking that if I refuse. If I disobey this man now, maybe all this member will beat me. <laughs> ah, he, he look at it. He say, ah, this member, there are too many. Oh. 
if I say no, the usher may carry me out. I don't know what to do now. Okay, I forgive him. <laughs> Take it back again. Let's, let's watch this over. <laughs> he, he, he think about it. That you people are too many. You will beat her here today. And we don't beat people. <laughs> Wash. How are you? Why can't you forgive this man? I'll forgive him. Tell me why you could not forgive him. Because he went behind me and had um, got a girl pregnant, told the girl I couldn't even get pregnant. Come, don't worry. The forgiveness cannot come without solution. Where there is forgiveness, there is reconciliation. Where there is forgiveness, there is healing. Where there is forgiveness, there is deliverance. You remember last week, there was a baby you carried in the dream? Yes. This baby is coming to reality. Amen. Forgiveness cannot come without what? Without solution. When you determine to forgive, you are determined to have your future. <laughs> Tell your neighbor. When you come to understanding, when you come to understanding of forgiveness, and you sit at home and say, Well, I need to forgive. Your way is open. But should not come too late. When you come to understanding of forgiveness, ah, I need to forgive. I need just to put everything behind me. Freedom. You are talking of freedom. what forgiveness has done to this woman can you see what forgiveness has done what no man can do can you see what forgiveness has done Jesus the last way on the cross Last word on the cross said, Father, forgive them. You are included, and I'm included. This is supposed to be your role model, your guiding line. That forgive them, forgive them. I'm included. You are included. If Father forgive me, why should I not forgive? Me? Why should anyone not forgive you? If you forgive, you are forgive indeed. This woman will have remained barren forever, just like that, and will have remained like that till the end. And it it will have come to too late. If she has said that forgiveness may be at the age of 70 years of 60 or 70, 65, and say, I forgive that man, he will have come to late. It could be late, but it must be done at the right time. Tell your neighbor, it must be done at the right time. I say forgiveness must be offered at the right time. Yes, it can be late. At the right time, solution, breakthrough. Take your pen, take your pen. Father, forgive them. First, Father. Father, you have to learn. That is what Jesus, I'm saying it the way Jesus said it. The way and manner Jesus said Jesus did not say, 
Father, forgive them. No, 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 no. Listen to the voice of God. Jesus never said, Father, forgive them. He said, Father, a land and swallow saliva. <laughs> look at it. Look at me. Father. Forgive them. Because you need to think about it well. Because you people. Ah. <laughs> If Jesus could think about you very well, me too, I would think about you three, three well. <laughs> camera, camera me. Jesus thought about it well before he said them. He want to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Father. Forgive them. <laughs> right in there. <laughs> you have to swallow saliva before you say them. Fa look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Father. <laughs> Forgive them. <laughs> because your case is you people. Hi. By nature. We are rebellion. Don't forget about the Garden of Eden. After we finish eating, we want to know why we are asked not to go eat that fruit. Uh, that fruit. You know, you know sometimes you, you look at me, look at the fruit here. Camera, please put it. Sometimes as you are sitting down, your spirit keeps saying, what kind of fruit is this? Why this man does not allow us to take this fruit? And after the service and I move, some will lie down here. So that was the time I was up here. And a, a man lie down here. Why he was saying Jesus, Jesus? He keep looking here. He keep looking here. He, look. he said Jesus, 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 Jesus. I I was just quiet there. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> Somebody who is calling Jesus is stealing my fruit. <laughs> Tell me, what would Jesus do with this one? Silly stolen property. What would Jesus do with the stolen property? So he now carried and Jesus, 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 he started immediately he started to go like this, Jesus, Jesus. I I remained quiet there. I allow her, I waited. He now he do like this. I studied him, I came down. I moved close. I said, Uncle, how are you? He said, Fine. Emmanuel! I said, oh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle, He said, Emmanuel! I said, Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Can I see what is in your pocket? He said, Emmanuel, I dream and I saw you and you give me fruit and I don't know whether I will see you to tell you that is why I came here to carry fruit. I say this is a solid property. <laughs> yeah, you see, I should give you solid property. I will not give you this. If you want to take another one, I will give you. Wow. 
Let's hear just a word from this woman. Emmanuel. People, people of God, Emmanuel. Um, I'm so glad today. So, so glad and proud. I was here last year. Um, my name is Mrs. Judith Mafo. I'm from Ghana. I was here last year, uh, somewhere in May, 27. The problem that brought me here was the issue of barrenness. Are you listening? Issue of what? I got the opportunity to be in the church, and whilst the man of God was given his prophecies, he reached out to me and then uh, asked me, why can't you forgive this man? And I was like, hi. Of all the issues, this is not what I'm expecting to know. <laughs> because this thing happened within the confines of my environment. Not many people even got to know of it. And right now, I realized that a lot of people were watching. So I was like, what am I going to say? Hi. And then suddenly... You listen to that? Very intelligent, is it? Ah, what am I going to say? If I say anything negative, this member may beat me here today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. And then suddenly the man turned to the congregation and um, spoke to them that, do you know why she's quiet? She's wondering, this crowd, what am I going to say? And that was exactly what I was thinking. So I was so surprised. Within myself, I was like, hey, let me be a little. Because how can an, something that I'm thinking within myself the reveal to the man of God. I Clap, for Jesus Christ. Clap for Jesus Christ. Clap for Jesus Christ. Please. I want you to listen to that message. While talking to her, I was also prophesying. When I asked her, why can't you forgive this man? She was, what she was thinking, I revealed. Why you could not forgive this man? And immediately he said, I forgive. Because I will begin to say everything. I was prophesying at the same time while I was talking to her. I'm telling you now, something is holding you. By now you are supposed to be at the, in, at the center of your own world. So, something is hindering your joy. Something is hindering your joy. Ask yourself, what is that thing? What is that thing that is hindering my world? When you are at the point of breakthrough, something takes you back again. When you have breakthrough, you begin to experience discomfort, trouble day and then, so that you will not enjoy that breakthrough. Something is somewhere hindering you, causing you pain, something. 99% of us here, the answer, forgiveness. I want to see your hand. The answer is what? Jesus said, Father, forgive them. That means you, you have to forgive everyone. Whether it seems small or great, only Jesus can determine which is dangerous. Whether sin is small or great, the Father who says, Thou shalt not lie, also say, Thou shalt not murder. If you have lied, you have murdered says the Lord. Are you? Am I talking to you? Jesus, who says, Thou shalt not lie, also says, Thou shalt not murder. If you have lied, you have murder. He is the one to say the greatest sin. Is the one to say the one that is greater. The sins of lying 
and the sins of murder it's only jesus can say this one is the big this one is the small we can look at it by the nature of that if you lie against someone could lead to the death of that person there are many people that have been fired that have been executed through what lying many have been in the jail waiting for life sentence many are waiting to be hung to, to be hung many are waiting for fire clear but mere lying they lie to, uh, to them they lie against them that led them to that Ninety-nine percent today. Look at what the world are facing today. Look at the whole world today. Look at what is happening in Iraq. Look at what is happening in Syria. Look at what is happening in Libya. Oh my God! Look at what is happening in Palestine, Gaza, and Israel. What are we talking about? The war is coming to an end. If, it, if all this has not reached your country, and you think it's just like that, no, don't, don't sleep. Watch and pray. Where will people in Libya go? The people that have led the place scatter everywhere. They will come to your country, they will come to my country. Where will people in Iraq, where will they go? Millions of people, they have scattered all over the world. All over the world. Syria, they have scattered everywhere, all over the world. And many other countries. Where would they go? Where? I told you people when the trouble of Iraq started, the war, Iraq, the first the prophecy I gave before that war, I said <laughs> if we go into that war, it is war unlimited. The war will not come to an end. I said it's in the profile. I may ask them to play it, you see. I said this war will not come to an end. I think this is what the war at last listen to. People listen to my message. When the Syria own started, I, I cry out that no, they should not go to the war. Upon not going to the war, upon the management, the way and manner they manage the crisis, but millions of people are scattered all over the world. Assume they have gone to that war, what will have happened to them? Forgiveness. Forgiveness is the answer to the is the solution to the world. This nation should forgive this nation. And that nation should forgive that nation. When we say forgiveness with me, I leave it for God. Tell your neighbor. When we say forgiveness, we mean leave it for God. Say again. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. That is the answer. Because there are some certain things you, you is difficult. If my brother has done something to me that cannot be repaired, I would leave my brother for God. 
That is forgiveness. Me? Because we, we are the ones saying, my hair, my shoulder, my knee, my stool, my hair, my shoulder, my knee, my toe, my hair, my shoulder, my knee, my toe, they all belong to Jesus. That is the song. Maybe you need carrots. Go and give me carrots. Go and give him. Don't take it off. <laughs> Maybe you need carrots. When you eat carrot, you will be balanced. <laughs> so if you have if you have received weapon to fight today, let us see your hand. Forgiveness. Tell your neighbor. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Forgiveness means living for God. Tell your neighbor. Forgiveness means living for God. Instead of saying you want to eat carrots, <laughs> camera, please come. Instead of saying you need carrots, you just need attention. You need carrots. <laughs> so forgive me, me, leave it for God. She left the whole thing for God because it was difficult for her to say I forgive, and that. The word forgiveness is said, he pronounced, is not going down. Let him leave it for God. Because everything about me belongs to God. There is no part of me you can hurt. Because I own it, nothing about me. The, the life I live, of God. The life I'm living, of God. So therefore, I leave it for God. When you leave it for God, you are free. Let's hear. So I, I finally said that I will forgive him. And he asked me why I couldn't forgive him. And I explained to him that he cheated on me with another lady. And the lady had the guts to call and tell me that she was pregnant for my husband. And then according to her, my husband said I couldn't conceive. So uh, she's calling to tell me. I said, ah. Uh -uh. Why you started this whole thing? You never called to tell me. So why is it that you are now calling me to tell me you are pregnant? And are then, you listening? The woman that pregnant for her husband, have you? Yes. He now later call her because she wants her to leave the house. Hello? Hello? Are you the wife of so so? He say yes. Don't waste your time. Okay? I, I am pregnant for your husband. Okay? Don't waste your time. Okay? So she that went that is why she ran down to church here. <laughs> so that God can rescue her. Uh -huh. She went further to say that she is not willing to have that baby. That is why she's calling me. But she asked my husband to give her money to terminate the pregnancy. And he's insisting he wants her to keep the pregnancy. I said, well, I never got you pregnant. So if you're pregnant, why don't you deliver? Then I hung up. Then she called me again and I hanged up. Then afterwards, um, the man of God delivered me. Honestly, when this issue happened, I was insisting on a divorce because I never expected that from him. My husband happens to be the very quiet type. And when I'm talking, ladies, I hope you know what I mean. Usually the quiet type, you hardly suspect them. 
So it was really a blow. And I was insist insisting on divorce. So the pastors, uh, pastors had to come in, our parents had to come in. They counseled us. Before them, I pretended it was okay. I said, okay, I've forgiven him. But honestly, before God and man, deep down inside me, I didn't forgive him. I was still harboring that pain in me. Until I came here, and then when the man of God said that, all I had to do was to forgive him. Because when I forgive him, the deliverance will come. And I said, wow, because I've been to a lot of specialists. Can Medically, I, there was nothing wrong with me. Can I say something? Can I ask you something? Yes. And I want you to be sincere. Assume you did not pregnant, and you are still barren today with, in that house. Will you still stay in the house? Would I still? Will you still stay with the man? After you delivered me or No. Oh, that wouldn't have been possible. Clap for Jesus Christ. Are you, are you with me? I'm asking her, assume she's still buried now and still in that man house. We are asking her whether can she still stay there. He says it's not possible. That means forgiveness cannot come without solution. When you thought of, when you are thinking of forgiveness, you are thinking of solution. When you are sick, and you are sick, and you are now come to the knowledge of, Ooh, I need to forgive everyone around me. Everybody, even those whom you have not been called, those whom you don't know their number, and you begin to look for their number. Okay, get me this number. Let me call. Oh, how are you, my sister? Uh, how are you? I just want to ask of you. Can I come and greet you? Please put everything behind. And you take off everybody around you. And you begin to call them. You are immediately you finish that kind of healing come. Deliverance come. Freedom come. Salvation come. All of God's blessing come. That is the way. So I'm asking her, yes. Assume you are still pregnant. Will you still remain in that house? He said, no. Assume after the deliverance here, and I talk to her, and I pray with her, and I say, you are delivered. Now you forgive your husband, you pregnant. Until now he has not pregnant. He will discount my... Which can't, which can't be Joshua? And they leave the house. She may leave the house and be coming to church again, but he will not remain in that house. Because when she was delivered immediately, I said to her, You are free. Go and have your baby. And the word of God does not delay. Tell your neighbor, the word of God does not delay. If God has sp spoken, it comes. But if God has not spoken, wait. Are you with me? If God has spoken, it does not delay. If he has not spoken, wait. That is what I'm telling the world today. In the same way, the same message I'm giving to this lady, the same God Almighty is now telling me about the situation. The world should not fear. Africa continent, fear not. Listen, listen. Satan wants to use fear as a war, weapon of war, to fight Africa. And that fear will lead to hatred of one another. One country will hate this country, that country will hate that country. Within Africa, we begin to hate ourselves as if we are not Africa.
that hatred, when the hatred comes, that is it. A hatred that you cannot give handshake. Come on. You cannot give handshake again. You will begin to wear gloves. A hatred that you cannot give a hug. Can you see the reason why I don't hug people? Are you with me? Can you see the reason why sometimes you want to hug me, I do like this? I love you. I, because unless I miss Satibi Joshua because as a true nation, sometimes I miss Satibi Joshua. If I miss Satibi Joshua, I'll give you a hug. But when I'm prophet Satibi Joshua, I cannot give you a hug. So when I miss Satibi Joshua, I hug you, you hug me. But when Prophet Tibi Joshua standing, I avoid that hug. Even if you try to hug me, I will put my hand between. I will put my hand between. Come, brother. Come. Stand here. Okay, you see, I want to, in order to save him, in order to save him, yeah, give me a hug. I still save him, but yet. <laughs> Somebody who hugged me is doing like this. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, let's hear from. So the man of God delivered me and then afterwards I felt as if a weight of bulldozer had been lifted off my chest. Honestly, suddenly there was this calmness within me. Hmm. And while I was within the church, my husband was also watching from the house. Hmm. So I think a few minutes later, I stepped out to get water and he called me and said, Honey, I saw you on TV. All this while I thought you had forgiven me for the second time, please forgive me. And I said, indeed, this time around, I have. <laughs> this time around, I have forgiven you. Because the reason why this time around I have forgiven, because that forgiveness comes with promise. <laughs> Are you with me? That forgiveness comes with what? And he want to wait for that promise. The man say, now go and have your baby. This time around, I, I forgive you. I will meet you at home. <laughs> he is looking for forgiveness that comes with what? That comes with promise. If you are looking for forgiveness that comes with promise, let us see your hand. <laughs> that show you have no forgiven. <laughs> I said that means you have not forgiven all this day. <laughs> okay. And uh, one thing that really struck me most importantly was the fact that man of God told me that the antidote was forgiveness. Upon realizing that I said to myself, all this while I've been looking for the fruit of the womb, if I had known the antidote was forgiveness, I would have forgiven him long time, even the rest of the time. Come Jesus! Can you see? Can you see? He said, Azumi knew that forgiveness is the hindrance. He would have forgiven long time and have a baby. And, and, and let the man go with 100 lady. That is not his business. <laughs> Woo. Wow. So uh, after I left here, I got back home and uh, we met as husband and wife. Initially, when I even got, I started faking. And he was like, What are you doing? I said, I'm faking. I mean, 
with faith, I know I'm going to get pregnant. That what will happen when you truly get pregnant? I said, ah, no, it will just pass through it. So I was speaking and then a few months later, I started feeling feverish. I went to the hospital, I was treated for malaria. And then persistently, I was still feeling feverish. And I said to myself that, looking at our environment, it's not possible that, I mean, I should be suffering from malaria till this time. So he even suggested that I should do the pregnancy test. You know, we have this domestic one, which I went to the pharmacy. He even went, got it, brought it home, and I did it in the washroom. Lo and behold, it came, the strip came twice, the mark. And what I heard was, he screamed, there was a like, honey, honey, come, 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 come. I said, what is it? I went to the washroom, oh look. I said, but do you understand it? That, ha, you think I don't? So I was so stunned. You know when you've been looking for something for so long and you finally get it? It, it dawns on you to the extent that you become so speechless. That was the feeling I had at that moment. Then I said, okay, thank God. That was all I said. So I gave myself a week after to go to the hospital to confirm. Lo and behold, people of God, when I got to the hospital, I was already two months pregnant by then. Look, can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Yes, daddy. The name of the baby is forgiveness. Yes. <laughs> the name no one has ever had, if you have other names, that is it, but this is a name, forgiveness. But whatever name you people have, have in your, your agenda, but I'm from God, I'm giving this name, forgiveness. That will be a roadmap in the family. You continue to remember forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness. So thank you. I want to meet you, to congratulate you. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. So I want Man to of God, oh. there's something very important I want to say here. Later after I left here home, we later discovered that the lady in question was not even pregnant. She used that pregnancy to blackmail my husband to extort money from him, and he refused. And I thank you, man of God, because today as we speak, I'm like a brother, a sister to my husband, he's like a brother to me. Just a few weeks ago, we were driving past and we saw the lady. I was like, hey, look at your girlfriend. Oh, that, that's your rival. <laughs> I said, let's do you listen to that? He, he, said, he said the lady in question is trying to extort money. Use that. But I want to tell you, assume God has not blessed you because the lady monitor you. Assume you are, you are not blessed, he will have find a baby for your husband. In one way and the other, he will find baby. Criminal, always criminal. Are you listening to me? Assume she has not pregnant because the lady was monitoring what was going on between her and the husband. And the husband, to her mouth, was not a uh, keep short. He's happy telling everybody. And the lady knew that the lady, the wife at home, has pregnant. And the news has spread everywhere. So assume this lady was not pregnant the lady will have fine baby for the husband. He, indeed, he want to take over the house. So thank, just give that to God. Finally, my advice to everyone here is... So, and I'm, and I'm inviting her, I want to see her. I love her so much, I want to see her sometime. I know she will come for prayer and deliverance. Thank you, she's invited, she's watching Mana TV. Thank you. Finally, my advice to... Wait! Because you don't want to hear anything about her. <laughs> you, should, you should extend the forgiveness to her. She doesn't want to hear anything about her. You know what? what I say is, we won't wait to hear this man is saying again. <laughs> She's not coming here to talk to your husband. It's a battle of God and her and TV Joshua. She doesn't want to hear anything. Extend that forgiveness to her. And I am inviting her. She's watching Mana TV. She, she had to come. 
Please, my sister, I'm expecting you. Come. Thank you. <laughs> she doesn't want to hear anything. What I was talking about, that day. Hey, hey, I want to give that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to see her. I want to see her. Okay. Mm, thank you. Okay. My okay. advice is that um, we ladies, whenever our husbands get themselves into trouble, let's not be hasty oh. in condemning them. Oh. Uh, latter parts when actually after the deliverance my husband really sat me down and then narrated everything I said why didn't you do that earlier because I never gave him that chance sometimes these people come as a way of distracting you and then shifting your focus out of the home but I think that I'm very grateful that it took the intervention of the man of God because other men of God had been in this case but I was still insist insisting on divorce and when I realized the pleading was too much, I said I didn't want to look evil in their sight. So I said, okay, I've forgiven them. But deep down inside, I hadn't. So just knowing that upon realizing that the antidote is forgiveness. Right now, I feel so lighthearted. We play around like, you know, somebody and a brother, a brother and a sister. And the peace has been restored. I'm so happy. So happy and so proud as an expectant mother. Today, I can also boast that I'm going to become a mother. God bless you, man of God. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Look, I want to see her. Thank you. Why your husband is not here? Okay, no, no, no. Don't bother to say. Okay, go and wait for me. I will, I will, I will ask you a question later. <laughs> well, we are expecting the husband to stand here. Maybe, okay, I want to see you. You listen to what she said. That, that we should not be in haste. Okay? So, he has given advice. Because God has many things how many way of confirming home there is no house or home or family today if there's any wonderful family or a family in the world today that you say oh what a wonderful family they have been together for many years look at their children look at their home you need to ask them what they have gone through if gold must be gold Fridas. If gold must be gold, finish it, finish it. Hear you, let me hear you. If gold must be gold, I can hear you. If gold must be gold, it must pass through a furnace. When you see a home, and you see the family and they have been together for many years or you see them becoming old and their children are there their family are there you see them together oh my dear if you take your time to ask them what they have gone through they are things you could not go through you could not and you divorce they are things you could not stand and you separated there are things you could not stand that led to divorce. Those things that led to divorce are things that done them together. <laughs> if I'm talking to you, let me see your hand. Those things that led many homes to divorce, to separation, are things that tend their family. Join their family. Bring understanding to the family. Those things that separate home. We have many homes today. Wonderful. Those things that led to divorce of many homes destruction of many homes, separation of many homes. They are, they are those that are those things that brought many homes together. Unite many families together. Bring understanding to many homes. Bring understanding to many homes. And what are those things? Lying. 
unfaithfulness, disobedience, just mention many others. Many husband, many husband and wives separated. From there, the wife commits suicide or fall into sickness, and that led to death. Whereas, what led the family to separate are the things that made many families to unite. There is no perfect relationship. Relationships mean one is faithful, the other one unfaithful. One is strong, the one, other one is weak. Coming together becomes relationship. Relationship means one is strong, the other one is weak. Coming together becoming what? There is no strong, other one strong coming together. If other one is strong, the other one is strong, coming together there is no relationship. There is no family like that in the world. If I'm talking to you, let me see your hand. I can't see your hand. I, I give a sample again. Relationships, there is no perfect relationship. Relationship is all about one is strong, the other one is weak. Coming together become relationship. Where this one is weak, this one is strong. Where this one is strong, this one is weak. This one is because this one is. This one is because this one is. I am because you are. You are because I am. Becoming relationship. So if you know that there is no perfect relationship, why many things destroy the family? Why this destroy the family? Why that destroy the family? Well, you know there is no perfect relationship. Tell your neighbor, there is no perfect relationship. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I'm strong, you are weak. You are weak, I'm strong. You are because I am. I am because you are. That is relationship. Well, we learn from all this testimony. Imagine if this woman were not given chance to testify. Will you learn about forgiveness today? Can you see the forgiveness you have received today? The weapon of forgiveness before now you never knew is as strong as this. I know many of you are going to apply it. And you are going to work on it. You have forgotten what Jesus said, forgive them. Now I have remind you what Jesus said. This is supposed to be our role model. So this is forgiveness. Last Sunday, I was moving around. I think that was a testimony that we need to allow. I think the man is around. When I met a man and I said, look, there is a document in your hand. And the man is late. If you are here, let us see your hand. Let's talk about that. Maintenant, Let's talk about that because it is a very sensitive issue. So you learn from time to time. The other one, we have to put them behind because they are very, they are sensitive issue. So after this, we move forward, okay? If you have learned from the forgiveness of this woman, let us see your hand. And you know how to approach your career now. Let us see your hand. And I told you forgiveness means leave it for God. Let us see your hand. 
If there's anything that is too big for you to forgive, leave it for God. Because he owns your hair, your hand, your body, your faculty. Since he owns my life, I have, my, I have no life to live. My, the life I live is of God. Leave it for God. Watch your screen. Let's watch the the prophecy I'm, I was talking about. Okay, please at the table. Bolo, bolo. There is a book. Yes, sir. In your possession. Yes, sir. What can you say about the book? My, yeah, my senior brother that died. I hold his document, sir. But it's only you that know. Yes, sir. Something is tormenting you. Yes, sir. Yes, that's why I'm here. Spirit sir. of death. Yes, sir. That's why I'm here, sir. You know the, there was a time someone who died was yes, only sir. you in the grave. Yes, sir. You know, three days ago you dream you find yourself in the grave. Yes, sir. No, yes, sir. Why do you have this document and you don't want people to know? No, sir. Why I have the documents is uh, they are fighting over it. The the ex-wife of my brother. Do you know the reason why I call on that document? No, sir. Because the children of this man, they are suffering. You see, I want you to listen attentively. And uh, one thing you have to do anytime you are in the church, if you see any crazy person sitting beside you, you too have to be crazy immediately. Because if you are not crazy, you can't handle crazy person. So you have to help the usher. Please, don't allow anybody to distract your attention. Assume you are here and they are talking of forgiveness for me now. I'm learning. You are learning. Even what I'm learning from the testimony is more than what you have learned. I learned too. So I learned. That is, Mr. T.B. Joshua is learning why Prophet T.B. Joshua is talking. What, what I'm learning now, T.B. Joshua is learning from Prophet T.B. Joshua. So when they are talking and there is noise, I'm always annoying. I learn from Prophet T.B. Joshua. He's the one that connected with God. And when it is TV, Mr. T.B. Joshua alone, he, what he learned from Prophet is what he's living on. I watch Imane TV more than any one of you here. I sleep with him on TV. But you say I'm the one talking. Indeed, in appearance, it looks like me, but it's prophet. But Mr. TV Joshua sleep with him on TV. <laughs> Unless the light is off, when Mr. Prophet TV Joshua is praying, I grab the Imane TV and I pray with it. I know what I receive from Prophet TV Joshua all the time. I can't do without Prophet TV Joshua. Yeah. Okay, let's hear. Emmanuel. My name is Kenny Singer. One one child. Yes. The, the, each one one child. Okay. But but that but, one there. But the, the, wait. This our uh, mommy gave more than one child yes yes sir how many three three why the other three two two wives that give one one child one have died one have uh, have left my brother yeah, but he's still alive he's still alive he's still alive and the child still alive look at the child there yeah. where's the child okay come on okay where is the the children of my my sister my my Each one one child. Okay, but but that but, one there. But the, three. Wait, this our uh, mommy gave more than one child. Yes, yes, sir. How many? Three, three. Why the other three two two wives that give one one child? One have died. One have uh, have left my brother. Yeah, but he's still alive. He's still alive. He's still alive. And the child still alive. Look at the child there. Where's the child? Okay, come on. Okay, where is the, the children of my, my sister, my, my mommy here? 
Yeah, uh, I told her to to bring the children. This is another another one. Uh, the mother, the the mother of this one is there. Is there? That is the wife of your brother. Yes. This one, the mother of the this one too, is alive. He has left. He has left. Okay. Our mommy here has two children. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Madam, how are you? So there is no controversy over this issue. It is. It's only we we we. we we are not we are we don't we are not afraid of tomorrow if we are afraid of tomorrow when issue like this happen we have to allow the divine intervention to take the course these are the owner of the property these are the owner of the property the two children over there they are the owner of the property make it fall okay what this woman is is uh, yes I mean, when we talk about that, is the mother. Is the mother. So, the mother, the mother of this one is not alive, but is alive. Is the owner of the property. This one is owner of the property. The two children of this woman, three children of this woman also, they are the owner of the property. So then we cannot talk of if Baba is alive, if Mama is alive. If they are not alive, if they are alive. Then we cannot talk. But these are the primary. She is the primary chair. She is the primary chair. The three children here that are not here, they are the primary chair. Any other people, they are secondary. <laughs> so, and I'm happy that you are trying to protect the children. That is why all this happened. Thank you, Baba, for protecting the children. My mommy there, if there's any battle or fight or whatever, maybe he tried to protect his own children. Because not him mom. Whatever happened, whatever belongs to these children, that is when this the mother the mother can have cheer out of. What they give these children is what the mother can also claim of. There is no separate I mean, try to understand the issue of we is a sensitive issue. So I will be very happy. I know you people might have gone to Roman rights or activists. Or, okay. Uh -huh. yes, yes, sir. You have, you have gone where? Yes, to Roman rights. For we must be here. Before uh, our uh, Emma died, yeah, my, my senior brother, they went to Roman rights with, uh, with her. Before who? Yeah, my senior brother. Okay, you saw her? Before my brother was late, I think uh, he had issue with the wife. They separated, so they took themselves to woman rights. So woman rights separated them for the main time. Then uh, I don't know how did she settled with woman rights on the issue of you know trying to uh, how. Okay, where where were my sister when the man was sick? She was not around. She left the house. She had issue with the man, so they separated them from the woman rights. Okay, when the man was buried, she was there. No, she came once. When I told my friend to okay, tell her... Okay, it's alright. Right. It's alright. That is not an issue. Let me hear from my mom here. Yeah. Okay. How are you, brother? Hmm? Um... Okay. Before... You are, the, you are the mother of your the two children. Yes. Okay, why are your children? I'm the... Uh, man of God, let me say. I'm the... You know there is a crowd here. Whatever I ask you, you answer me. The crowd here, there are more than two of us. Okay? We are not in the in a in a law court. It's a few population. Look at it, the whole world is watching us. Okay, are you the mother of the three children that are I'm not here? Yes. I'm the mother. Of, I'm the mother of four. I lost one. I have four kids and my two stepdaughters. So all of them are five. I say the one you have for this late mother, late father. I'm sorry, in sorry. Why do you can't take somebody who's not the father of the this thing? Huh? If, if you brought three children, if you brought two children to meet the, a man, to marry a man, and the man died, what is the business again? The one, the one that biological child, the biological child is three, three. it's not five. Okay, three. How many children you have? I have three. I say for this late... M okay, come. I want to see you people immediately after the meeting. And I want to talk to you people. Okay? So, Baba, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mama, give me your hand. Thank you. 
thank you, Mama. I was want to say, Mama, thank you. So, my sister, don't worry. What I'm asking you, the child you give gave to this man, they are three. Yes. Huh? Yes. That is the one I'm yes. talking about. The one you carry from someone. You are a, you married somebody before. Yes, I was I, married before, and my husband died. Forget about that. Don't, I'm not interested in that. The one you carry from somebody's. How, uh, your former husband at two. Yes. Okay. That, uh, that is not. Don't worry. That is not it. But the one you gave to this one that died, that Terry. Terry. Yes. Okay. Don't worry. We are talking about the Terry one. Okay. So don't worry. I will see you people immediately after the service. Okay. So I learned you people have been to human rights. You have been to the lawyer and all that. So don't worry. We. Uh, uh, uh? We didn't separate. We went. To human rights for him to be to take up the, for the upkeep of my the three kids mm -hmm. so along the line he discussed with my husband okay, wait whether you people separate separated or not you have to three children for him yes that is what you are talking about it doesn't make different One point, yes. okay thank you so i want to see you people you gotta wait for me uh? I'm a uh, man of God. I'm here with the document. Where, where, where is the bar? Carry your camera down, my friend. Uh -huh. This is your document. Yes, I have it. Please, at the table. C'est un revenu pour une réconciliation de la famille. Il faut se battre pour les documents. Yes, the documents. Okay. I have the documents for right. the house. Down. Put it down. You see? I have the documents, sir. Okay, After don't... you pray for me about this document, since then, I'll be, uh, I'll be sleeping well. I don't have any problem. Again, no more spirit of death. And you don't, and you don't want, uh, and you don't want problem again. I didn't want problem because before I want to help, I'm coming. I say you don't want problem again. I didn't want problem again. That is why you bring documents. That's why I bring documents. <laughs> yeah, for you to decide what to do. Okay, don't worry. don't worry. Today I will see you. After the service, I will see you. I will settle the matter. Okay, I will remove the body on your head. Amen. Okay. Amen, Amen sir. So you are free. Yeah, well, I'm. <laughs> I'm afraid. <sir. laughs> okay, put the document inside the bag. And I say I will see you after the service. Okay, after the service. Thank you. Please. Um, please come. Vous avez entendu la conclusion de cet homme après qu'il ait reçu une prophétie de l'homme de Dieu. Of them after the meeting here, I want to meet them. Take care of Momo. Momo is old. Take care of everybody. Okay. It's my sister, no problem. I will see them immediately. But this man, if you know the body he carry, he want, he doesn't want it. Yeah? <laughs> over. Eh? My problem is over in Jesus' name. No. <laughs> let, let them. <laughs> Il a donné une prophétie disant qu'il avait un document de son frère qui était mort. Il a effectivement confirmé cela était vrai. Et depuis, il a voyé l'esprit de mort dans ses rêves. Thank you. Hallelujah. So I think. Uh, I hope you listen to what happened here. It was on Sunday. I was moving around just like the other woman. I said, you need to forgive. And after forgiveness, she taking. This man, I just, oh, you have some document with you. This is from the late somebody who's died. And that spirit is, is after you. And exactly what is his problem. It, she, he could, for the past one month, the man could not sleep. The dead people keep chasing him chasing him. He doesn't know what to do. But for me to now meet him and say, oh, the document of late person is with you. And after the deliverance, since last Sunday, he has been sleeping. He said, even the bag, he, he, he throw it somewhere. And <laughs> he said, he will not carry this bag. Both the property and the house, he doesn't want it because he doesn't want to die. So I should hand over it to the, parent, the children. But the issue now is, you know, the will in Africa, all over the world, the way.